left hand side tail light doesn't work and he's changed the bulbs and still no different there so he's dropped it off to me to see if I can fix the problem with the tail light there thought I'd have a quick look to see if there's any earthing points or whatever and the cover was loose so I went over the cover and found that these two front fuses here they're supposed to be both 10 amp but the spares only had a 15 amp no 10 amp spare so I replaced I swapped over the 10 from that side to that side there tail light works Damn car has two different fuses for left hand right hand side. G'day. So old mate's got himself a VE Commodore wagon. Number of problems. Needs sensors fixing. Uh, oh, crikey, there's so much. Um, door trims, stereo. But most important is uh, his tail light on this side here doesn't work. And he's changed the bulbs and still no different there. So he's dropped it off to me to see if I can fix the problem with the tail light there. And uh, then while I've got the car, I'll try and um, have a look at his central locking as well because so you can see the door trims off. Central locking doesn't work either. Number of problems. I don't know if you'll have the car long enough for me to fix everything for him. He's really quick to swap cars. I will get this tail light working for him. If I don't find a problem there, what I'm going to do is just run a wire from that tail light because that one works over to this side here and get his tail light working because that's an easy band-aid workaround. But I'll first put a meter and everything and find out what's going on here because apparently uh, old mate's gotten underneath the car then he said that the cable for the tow bar has been cut. So all the wires are cut evenly. I have a feeling that two wires from the tail light are coming down and joining down there and because they've been cut they're no longer joined and that's why that tail light's not working. Right, so you get the tail light out you get this little uh, little wheel things here you turn you get it loose there's supposed to be three of them but this one has two uh, there's supposed to be one up there there and down there but it's only got two so I'll undo them pop this light out you need to remove this rubber a little bit because it's stopping the black trim like on this side here I'm taking this side out so I can find out what color wire I'm working with for the tail light first things first you know the simple stuff I've put that bulb across to that side there and nothing I've um, checked I split the cable there a little bit so I can get access to the wire and uh, check that for power. There's no power. I checked the earth and the earth is fine. So there's definitely no power there. So I'm going to come down to under here now where there used to be a connection and see when I twist those, is there anything that's joined together or what's going on there? And I'll see if there's any power on any of these because there should be with the light on. One of these should have power. Okay, so you can see there right now there's no power. I go turn the. I've found out which wire it is. Uh, go turn the parkers on, and now you can see there's power on that. So now that I've found that there's live there as well. I'm going to see if now if there's a wire that goes from there to that plug as well. Check these fuses, and they're all okay as well. And I do have it on charge because I've got the lights constantly on. I don't want to have a flat battery suddenly. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to run a wire from one side to the other, just as a test to start off with, and then probably make it permanent that way. Okay, so you see, simple test, just running a wire from the parker light that's underneath there to there, and I can get the parker on that side working again. I don't know why it's failed yet. Uh, I've also like taken this connection part, put WD-40 in there, put it back together, make sure everything's right there. It doesn't show any problems. And you can see in there it doesn't look like there's been any tampering and on the inside here as well the connection here and everything doesn't look like there's any tampering so i don't know why that side's not working but running a wire across fixes that problem it's just a workaround uh so i've got to take everything out now because i want to come up into the car possibly from that light there across instead of coming up from underneath but we'll see what happens i forgot to mention there was no wire going from there to down there. Okay, so what I've learned so far is that the white wire is definitely earth. Now that's generally the normal wiring for when you're doing a trailer, the white, white wire is earth. There's a little gray wire, however. It is um, joining down to underneath there, but it's not, there's no power on it. So following this across over here, behind here, I think I'm gonna find something behind there that's where the problem is. So I need to remove this here and see if that's enough just to pull that enough forward otherwise I'll have to take this whole panel 
out to get access, but hopefully, just by removing this, I can get access behind there. They are able to get to here. This is where the grey wire ends. So the earth is obviously to the body there, which is great. But the grey wire joins to nothing, so I kind of like bummed out there. It's kind of hoping that it would maybe a connection unplugged, not connected properly or something. But anyway, I found something else. This is pretty cool. I'll just put you on the tripod for a minute while I do this. And, uh, 10 mil spanner. Thirteen mil deep socket. Anything else in there? Oh, yeah, there's something else. Another 10 mil, sweet. Anything else? The other pay, the one that was missing from the video, the beginning of the video, I was talking about this here, is down there. So I'm gonna try and get that as well. Happy fishing. Well, not knowing the car, stupid is what stupid does, eh? So I was just looking around the front here, seeing if it was an earth. I haven't done any wiring on the back yet. We've just gotten so far to the point where I was about to. But I have to get going, so I had to put the lights back in temporarily. And uh, just while I'm waiting for the missus, I thought I'd have a quick look to see if there's any earthing points or whatever. And the cover was loose. So I went over the cover and found that these two front fuses here, they're supposed to be both 10 amp, but the spares only had a 15 amp, no 10 amp spare. So I replaced, I swapped over the 10 from that side to that side there. Tail light works. The damn car has two different fuses for left hand, right hand side tail lights. So you know, lesson learnt, do go over checking over all the fuses first. But <clears throat> had I not found this, you know, or had this not been a problem, I, the other way I would have still gone about it. I just don't know why I didn't do that from the factory, have all the tail lights on one line, like most cars do. Till next time, guys. Cheers. But hey, in my defence, when you see that the tailgate tail lights are working and the right-hand side tail light is working, you eliminate that there could be a blown fuse.